Hello then! Today I wanted to make something because I had not done a video post in a while and I wanted to do something that was fall themed because I'm running out of time before the fall season officially ends. I should actually say objectively ends and then the Christmas season begins. So it is almost Thanksgiving time and I wanted to share with you some of my favorite fall themed kinds of sweaters. I love sweaters. They are my favorite, favorite item of clothing in general. I love them to death. Second being maybe overalls or something like that. But my favorite thing to wear is sweaters. And I have quite a few of them and I'm always looking to add to my collection. And my favorite type of sweater is one that is really big and bulky and just a really chunky knit. Those are my favorite types. So I love to go to places like Goodwill and other thrift shops and get amazing sweaters. When I was younger, I just thought that ugly sweaters were just sweaters and were amazing and were pretty in their own right and I loved them and then people started referring to them as ugly sweaters and I thought oh so this isn't like a normal thing for people to wear on an everyday basis but I love those kinds of sweaters I have some ugly sweaters that I love to wear and I think one of them is in this little pile over here so without further ado here is my little fall sweater collection. Well, the first one that I have is one that I am wearing. This is from Goodwill. I think that it's from Christopher and Banks. When I was younger, my grandma and I would go shopping in there and I would like the stuff, but then she'd be like, we need to be careful that you don't look too much like a grandma. And I now think I do not care at all. I love this stuff so much. But I really like this a lot. It reminds me a lot of Corduroy the Bear for some reason, and also Caillou the TV show. I don't know why it does, but it's just that idea of some really muted colors that are very fall-like. And it actually matches my bed. I didn't even notice that. It has the navy and the darker crimson red. That's really funny. But anyways, I love the little buttons on the front, and it goes down to about waist length. It's not super long, but I think that it's a really cute just shirt. The material is, underneath it's smoother, but then on top it is more, looks like it's knitted, but it is very thin. So I think that this is a good shirt to wear underneath something else, like underneath a jacket, because it's not going to stand on its own very well in the cold, but I really, really like it. I think it's super cute. The second thing that I have is a Halloween thing, pretty much. I mean, it could not be, but to me it looks very Halloween-y, and it is this. Thing. <laughs> I really love this. It's so cute. I got it from Target. It is a long sweater. I think that it could be considered a sweater because it is knitted. Maybe knits would be a better way to describe all of these things and relate them to each other. It is sparkly all over the place with gold sparkles woven through and it has black and orange stripes across it and I wore this on Halloween with my witch costume with some really, really sparkly leggings and I loved it a lot. I was gonna post it and then I forgot and now it is way after Halloween. I just think this is a really fun thing to wear around the Halloween time. It is a little bit itchy on the inside, but I don't mind that very much. It goes down pretty far, it is pretty long and I think it's really great for Halloween. This thing is from Rue 21. It is a fuzzy little over cardigan. It doesn't have anything that buttons it together in the front at all. It just kind of hangs there. I really like to wear this with a black tank top or camisole underneath and just have that be the shirt that I wear underneath and then have this be the main thing, the main attraction as I call it in an outfit. Yeah, it has kind of an interesting design on it. I think that what attracted me to it in the first place was the colors. Of course, you have that orange and you have that red that makes it to me quite fall-esque and also the black, but the patterns also are triangles on the back and they have this little border of patterning as well. Oh, and also the yellow, I didn't even notice that the yellow and orange I thought that it was just orange, but there's actually yellow and orange that are divided up into triangles as well. It's just kind of an odd design, and I just looked at it and thought, oh, this is going to be really cute to just drape over stuff, and I do really like it. I think it's very cute. Now this thing at first, I didn't know if this could be considered a fall thing or not, but then I decided it kind of is. It has the brown, which I associate with fall, on these little buttons on the front, and also gray is kind of a folly color, you know, with or gray skies, I guess. This is a really pretty sweater that I got from Vanity. It's from Vanity. It is 
quite long. I think you can wear it with some more low-rise jeans or jeggings, something like that. And I do love the color. I love the gray. I think that I included this in a haul a while ago that I never put up because I forgot to edit it and now it just is existing in the space of my computer with nothing going to happen to it. But it is a little bit of a thicker knit and it has a really big cowl neck, which I usually don't like those kinds of things, but I decided to try it out with this sweater and I ended up really liking it. I do like this kind of sweatery design on the front as well, that stereotypical sweater design. Girls want gray sweater. I have noticed that so far, except for, I mean the gray sweater is a little bit of a more chunky knit, but I don't have anything in this little selection right here that is more of a chunky knit sweater like I was describing before that I really like and this one is also not a chunky knit sweater either but I really like this one. I think it's so cute and it is this. I love the colors. I love the combination. I think that I just like the combination of that navy and red, dark red with maybe mustard yellow. I mean the same as here with the darker red and the navy. It is knitted but it is quite thin and it is really tight around the body so it's a bit different which I still really like and it has this little neck right here. I don't know what this is called. It's not called a turtleneck, it's called something else. It's like a turtleneck except without the bit that folds over again. It's just... I think I got this at Target. I must have. Yes, I got this at Target. I've been holding it backwards. <laughs> I love the little stripes on it. I just love stripes. I think I've said this before and I'm trying to get off of stripes but I can't. And whenever I see something with stripes, I am just immediately attracted to it, like a crow attracted to shiny things. It doesn't go down that far, even though it looks like it, maybe just because it's been washed, it hangs down a bit further. But yes, this is also a more thin one, so you're going to need a jacket over it, but I really love it. Now, this last thing is a little bit weird. <laughs> it looks kind of like a patchwork quilt with a bunch of different colors in it, and to me it is incredibly Thanksgiving-y because of the colors and I just love it. I saw it at the store and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get this. It was a Goodwill. And this is exactly the kind of thing that I love. And it is this. Now, some people might think that this looks ridiculous and I wouldn't necessarily blame you, but I mean, this is the kind of thing that I love. Ah, there's a hole in it. Okay, I need to fix that. This is one of my favorite, favorite sweaters. I haven't even worn it yet legitimately because the inside is kind of scratchy so I'm going to wear a shirt underneath it and I just haven't found the right one yet. But I love it. It just looks like a patchwork quilt of some type with a bunch of little squares sewn together with a bunch of different patterns on it. It just looks so cute. I wish the back was the same but it is just stripey but it still is very colorful. And this neck part used to go up more. It used to be kind of the same as that. Um, last sweater that I showed you, the one with the mustard stripes in it, it's a little bit wide for my neck, so then I sewed it down so then it would be more of just a normal neck shape. Yeah, to me it just looks like Thanksgiving because of the browns, the oranges, the cream colors, and then of course the other navy and dark red colors along with some green as well. And just the look of it, how it all looks like it was sewn together like this, to me that just looks so cool. It is really one of my favorite sweaters that I have not worn yet because I haven't really figured out how, but I'm so excited. I think I'm going to wear it this year for Thanksgiving. It's going to be really cute. I hope that you enjoyed my little sweater show and tell. Oh, sweater show and tell. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm going to call it. Having to do with more fall type sweaters. I do have a ton more and there were some that I decided, no, I'm not going to show them in this video just because I thought that might be a bit, well, not even too much. I just might use them later for something else. And these are definitely some of my favorites, some of which I even forgot about until I pulled them out of the closet. I've worn most of these sweaters this fall season and I'm excited to keep wearing them as we get into the winter time. And I'm really hoping that I can find a way to make that one big sweater work for Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you so much for watching and if you would like to I have my blog linked below if you would like to see that. That's kind of where I come from in the first place and hopefully I will see you very soon. Bye!